Statistics from Kenya and around the world now point to a larger number of men than women contracting the coronavirus. Here in Kenya, about 60% of all cases are men, raising questions whether there is a gender factor to the infections. And as Dorcas Wangira reports on the intriguing trend and why most medics are playing it down for now. Who is more likely to be infected with COVID-19, the male or the female? SARS-CoV-2 is new, so a lot of people have never seen it before, have gotten it before. So what that means is that we are all susceptible. We could get it. The Ministry of Health situation report released Wednesday showed that of the 303 confirmed cases of COVID-19, 173 were male, 43 more than the female. Of all the COVID-19 deaths, 14 were male and 2 female. What the numbers in Kenya and globally are telling us is that more men and boys have and are being infected with COVID-19. Likewise, more men have died than women. It is key not to confuse the infection rate and the case fatality rate. What the numbers are not telling us is why both rates are higher in men. Is it genes, hormones? The immune system, or is it behavior? Professor Omu Anzala, a top virologist who has been in the front lines against highly infectious viral diseases, including HIV and Ebola, says at this stage of the pandemic in Africa, especially, no one really knows why. We may only speculate, but the truth were as to why there are more infections in men as opposed to female is not clear. We rolled the question of whether male or female is at higher risk to the court of public opinion. Of the people who are, who are currently at work are men. Uh, most of our women are, are at home. <laughs> Dr. Moses Masika, a virologist, and Tumbi Mwangi, an epidemiologist, say it is possible that the data is skewed based only on the population tested, the cases confirmed and recorded. The factor of other underlying conditions leading to death besides sex cannot be ignored. Some studies, for example, when you're looking at healthcare workers, so you find more women testing because they, in that case, women are more. What has been shown clearly is that men are at a greater risk of severe disease. If it is a matter of behavior, women are twice more likely to wash their hands after using toilets compared to men. Studies suggest that women have less risky lifestyles. Smoke more. Alright? We also know that if you look at drugs of abuse, men are more involved than women. And all these things could actually uh, have an impact on the immune system. So from that point of view, you can actually say that maybe there is a disadvantage in men. Biology has more answers which some use to explain the sex bias. For instance, women, based on other infections, have stronger immune systems than men. Sex differences in the frequency, severity, and treatment efficacy for many diseases could possibly apply for COVID-19. In previous epidemics, the severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS and the Middle East respiratory syndrome MERS, outbreaks were also found to affect men more significantly. The immune system is the same both in men you know, and the, in the women. But maybe what could uh, make a difference is that we also know that in terms of looking at various risks, health risks, men take more risks. A theory being flaunted globally is that men, because of having testicles, provide a harbor for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The AC2 receptor, the angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, which is said to linger in the testicles and is less prevalent in the ovarian tissue. The angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is said to linger in the testicles and is less prevalent in the ovarian tissue. The AC2 receptor is also found in the lungs, kidney, heart and gut cells, but it also works like a doorknob for the virus. The virus latches or binds on to the AC2 receptor, enters the cell and wreaks havoc throughout the body. In these receptors, in, in men and women, I don't think that there is a difference. But there could be a difference in the expression, the amount of these receptors with age. So that particular uh, position of saying that uh, because men have this 
receptors on the testicles does not hold water at all. At this time of the pandemic, there may be many myths and speculations, especially as scientists are still trying to understand the nature of this particular SARS-CoV-2 strain. Further research will eventually help to explain the sex-specific deaths and infections. However, of importance is to ensure that the contagion is contained and the calf is flattened. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.